Now we are going to design a logo, a sound, a intro, in a smartphone. And the final result becomes... that you can also create on your smartphone. So, first, I'm excited about you come to my channel, welcome. This is... Randomize. Hit subscribe. So our goal is, first draw your logo on a paper, and capture it on your mobile. Second, we vectorize and texturing the logo on Pixel Lab. Third, animate the logo on a light motion. Fourth, design a sound for the intro in FL Studio Mobile, so everything we create on mobile. So install Pixel Lab, a light motion, and FL Studio Mobile in your mobile. Let's go. First, I need a logo for the title, Superhero, in short form SH. So, I have drawn some rough shape on a paper, then I want fit SH with all the shape. From here, I have chose this one, and this one. For design this, I have used Sketchbook. If you are interested, you can watch from the i button or link in the description. For this, I have used Pixel Lab. So draw it properly. Now, open Pixel Lab, choose a white background. Then, import your image that you drawn. Position at the midpoint. Now, reduce some opacity. Then, vectorize it by Bezier. If you don't know about Bezier, watch it. If you know, you can skip this part. So, click on Bezier, in pre-Bezier mode, function of first one is adding point second one is change the position of the point of curve and handle the shape of curve by point stick third one is move the whole shape that connect with the point together In for action button, function of first one is, remove the point that you add last. Second one is, create a closed loop, or an object. For example, I have draw this shape on a paper and I want to vectorize it. So go to Bezier option, a curve is already created. Now I need to position, the point of curve at corner of the shape. Okay fine, again, I need one more point, at bottom of the shape. So click on Bezier mode first option, add one more point. I want to make it, an object, 
so click on action second option. It becomes a closed loop, and fill color option is generated. Fill the black color. Now, handle the shape of curve by Bezier mode second option. We can also handle the shape before fill the color. So, finally it becomes a vector, now without wasting time, go to the main project. Go to Bezier. Position the point of curve at the corner of first shape S. Now, add all the point for the first shape, then make it a closed loop. Then, match all the curve with the first shape by point stick. Follow me on screen. Also Instagram. Zoom for more precision. Now, fill the black color and make the stroke width zero. So, the first letter, S is done. Similarly, I have vectorize, H, by three small segments. Now the video is going to time lapse.
So, every shape is vectorize, now delete the imported image. And I want to make all the shape into one object, so, select the all shape, and merge them. Now it becomes one object. I want to colorize the object, so go to color, use gradient, muddy dark and white. Change the background color into black. You can adjust as you like. Now make it 3D shape, so go to 3D shape. Use depth color gradient of red, and it's black. This is the multiple mixing of red, and it's black. As you see on screen, one is light, one is dark, one is light, one is dark. This makes metal shining effect. If you like the video, consider subscribe to my YouTube channel for first to see my latest videos. Adjust as you like. So the logo is done. Now, make some details, so go to Bezier, as you see on screen. Pick black color, and make stroke with zero.
Now, copy the shape, and add another part of the logo. Now, it's not closed loop, just curve. If the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, for first to see my latest videos. You can also use this gradient color. If you want to edit later, save as project. Now, save the image at ultra resolution. You can make the resolution more than 8K by type the resolution, but it depends on your hardware. For make the logo transparent, so import the saved image. Now, go to background option, click on transparent. Hide the other object. Go to erase color. Pick black color, and erase, so the logo become transparent. Adjust the tolerance.
change the background color into black. Set the image size as YouTube channel banner. Now, add the title. Select your favorite font. Make some texture. Now, save the logo as transparent and non-transparent. Finally, the logo is completed. Now we animate the logo in a light motion and design the sound in FL Studio Mobile. Like this. So, watch the video. If you like the video, consider subscribe to my YouTube channel.